everybody, here are some products, if you play the saxophone, they won't cost you more than twenty dollars, and you can buy them from your home. If you've ever walked into a music store or gone online to buy something music related, then you know equipment can be really expensive. And in the beginning, it's really easy to think that you're gonna have to plunk down tons of cash to get the best stuff. Now, where there might be a little bit of truth in that the nice things do tend to cost a lot of money, you don't have to break your wallet to upgrade certain things that you already have. So today I have created a list of five things that I think every beginning saxophonist can upgrade for under $25. My goal here was to create a list of things that make playing the saxophone more enjoyable, whether that be for the care of your instrument or for the comfort of playing it. And you're gonna be able to get all these things without breaking your bank. Before we jump into my list of stuff, I should note that I am not sponsored by any company. I am not endorsed by any of these products. They are just things that I personally enjoy that I think can benefit you. I get no compensation for talking about these things. None of these things were sent to me for free. This is just stuff that I have bought with my own money and I think can help you out. So with that being said, let's jump into the list and see some items that you can upgrade in your saxophone case. Coming in at number one is a reed case. Product number one is a reed case. Oh yeah, reed case, yeah. If you are still using the little plastic sleeves that come with your reeds to store them after you play, this is a great upgrade to helping your reeds last a lot longer. What I like about these reed cases is that you can put four reeds in the same case and it dries the reed out while protecting the tip at the same time. The advantage here is that you get to keep your reeds in the same place in your case, and the way that they are designed are to help the life of your reed be prolonged. Now with anything in music and on this list too, you can spend lots and lots of money on different reed cases at various different levels. And I'll probably talk about some different reed cases in the future, but for now, these reed cases made by Daddario are fantastic and they are very, very cheap. They're somewhere around the eight to $10 range. So to have a reed case that's quality, that's gonna protect your reeds and make them last longer for under 10 bucks, that's a great deal and a great upgrade. I would highly recommend picking up a nice, cheap reed case like this to help you save money on your future reeds and to help them play a little better as well. If you keep them just in the little sleeves, the tips of the reed tend to get a little bit warped. They're not gonna dry out the right way and putting them back into that case may result in them getting chipped because they're just not the best for storing reeds again and again. These cases are a great upgrade to solving some of those issues and they're not expensive. Plus they come in a lot of different colors. I have several of them that I put in my saxophone cases for various different things. I can kind of color coordinate which ones I use for which. These are like my jazz reeds, these are my classical reeds, my soprano reeds, my tenor reeds, etc. But you don't need multiple cases if you only have one saxophone and one set of reeds. One will do just fine and this is a great choice. Number two on our list of things to upgrade to are mouthpiece patches. Product number two is a mouthpiece patch. A patch that you put on your mouthpiece. Basically, a mouthpiece patch is a little piece of vinyl or rubber or some other material that you can stick onto the top part of your mouthpiece where your top teeth rest. I love these things and I put them on every single mouthpiece that I own. What this does is take away a lot of that uncomfortable vibration that you get on your top teeth and it makes playing the saxophone way more comfortable. I find that when I put a mouthpiece patch on the top of my mouthpiece, I'm able to practice more, my embouchure feels a lot better, and I just enjoy playing my saxophone a lot more when I have this to take away some of that vibration that I get when I play. You can either buy these in the pack like I have here, or sometimes you can go to a music store and buy them individually. And again, these are super inexpensive as well. I believe these are around eight to $10 too. And if you're to buy them at a music store individually, they may even sell them to you for about a dollar. But it's super killer, because if you have one mouthpiece and you only need one patch, this is a fantastic upgrade to making playing the saxophone way more comfortable for super cheap. But for just a couple bucks more, you can have a pack of five like this, again, made by Daddario. And this gives you some spare patches when you wear through them over time. The last time that I bought a mouthpiece patch in a pack was probably five or six years ago. So these things do take a while to wear through all the way, but they don't last forever. So that's something to keep in mind. The third thing on our list to upgrade to is court grease. 
Product number three is some cork grease. Some cork grease. You know, the stuff that you got to put on your cork when it gets all dry and you can't get your mouthpiece on. Some of you may be thinking, that's really not much of an upgrade, but I am amazed about how many people don't carry cork grease in their case. I can't begin to tell you how nice it is to have some cork grease at your disposal at any time that you're playing. And this is especially true if you have a hard time putting your mouthpiece on your neck. A simple, cheap tube of cork grease can take away a lot of pain of putting your saxophone together, and it's very good for the cork itself. If you're not regularly using this and you're forcing your mouthpiece onto the neck, you're wearing your cork down more and more every day that you put that mouthpiece on. And the quicker that you wear it down, the quicker you're gonna have to replace it. And cork grease can help prolong the life of your cork. So again, maybe this is not for you because you already have cork grease in your case and you're using it. If you are, good for you. But if you're not using it, I would highly recommend picking a tube up. It doesn't even matter what brand you use. You can find inexpensive stuff like this, Venture Premium, I don't even know what brand that is, or stuff like this maybe on the higher side, Dr. Slick. I've had this grease for years and I'm still not all the way through it. So the $5 or whatever I paid for it, I think this was even like two and a half dollars, something like that, is totally worth keeping around in your case. You gotta treat your saxophone nice if you want it to last a long time. And for something this cheap, this is an easy buy, super inexpensive. It can really help you out. Get you some cork grease. Number four on our list is a good quality swab. Product number four is a swab of quality. This ain't your grandpa's crusty swab. This is a nice one. It's gonna be nice and soft and absorbent. It's gonna get all the stuffs in your saxophone. Now we're kind of getting into the territory of more expensive things right now because swabs again can get pretty pricey depending on what you buy. However, you don't need to spend a ton of money on a good swab. I think I got this one for around $15 and it is fantastic. The reason why I say get a good swab is to take the level of care of your instrument up one more notch. If you're using an old raggedy swab, it's got a brush in the middle and it's hard to pull through the saxophone, or even worse, one of those fuzzy stick looking swabs where you kind of put it in the tube and brush it out and take it out, or even worse, leave it in. By the way, if that's you, if you have one of those swabs and you're just leaving it in your saxophone, don't ever do that. It's horrible for your horn. You're really not doing much good for your saxophone by using something that's not cleaning it well. A good, decent silk swab like this one here is gonna cost you around 15 to 20 bucks depending on how big it is and where you buy it from. And your saxophone will be thanking you for taking care of it more. You wanna get your saxophone nice and dry every time that you clean it. And when you put it back in its case, if you don't have all that moisture pulled out, weird things can start to happen and inside can get pretty gross. And for 15 bucks of throwing this in your case is a massive upgrade as far as the maintenance of your saxophone goes. The final thing on our list is in the more expensive category because we're talking about comfort and also protection of your horn, and that is a neck strap. Product number five is a neck strap. You know, that thing that you put around your neck and it holds your saxophone so that you don't drop it. And when you wear it, it's nice and comfortable so that when you're wearing it, you can play nice and it's real oh comfortable. Oh my gosh. Dude, yeah. Yeah. Stop, Stop talking. Hit this guy, this guy off snitch. the microphone. All the right, all right, jeez. Man, these guys can take a neck strap and shove it. Now, when I say comfort, I just mean something that's around your neck and how it fits on your body and how the weight is dispersed along your neck and spine and sometimes even into your shoulders. And when I say safety, I just mean this thing is the lifeline between your neck and the saxophone as it is the main thing that is holding your horn. Sometimes a cheaper, older, more worn in neck strap doesn't hold onto the horn very well. And when you wear it for a long time, it can get pretty uncomfortable around your neck and make your back sore and just lots of other things that can come into play when it doesn't support you well. Now, because of both the comfort aspect and its job of holding onto the saxophone, neck straps can often get pretty expensive pretty quick. Some of the neck straps that I've bought over the years have even crept close to that $100 mark, but you definitely don't need to spend that type of money on your first neck strap upgrade. This is a decent option. This is made by Yamaha, and you can find this neck strap for around $20. Maybe even cheaper, depending if it's on sale or not. It's not expensive, and when you wear this particular neck strap, it does a good job of providing some comfort on your neck, and also comes with a latch that holds on to your horn. Now, I will say that this particular latch here that it comes with is not the greatest. 
And for that reason, if you have 10, maybe $20 more to spend, I would think about maybe looking at an X-Strap by ProTech or maybe even something by Daddario for a similar price. However, this was one of the cheaper options as I was looking around the internet for prices. So that's why I'm recommending this one if your budget is tight. Going back to the latch and the price tag of why I was talking about that, I've had several times where this latch has gotten into a weird angle on the neck strap loop. And when I went to pick my saxophone back up to play it, the way that this clip got situated actually unclipped itself from the saxophone. And I've never dropped my saxophone or anything like that because of this neck strap, but having to put it back on and the potential of dropping it is a little worrisome and actually kind of annoying. However, this neck strap is way better than some of the options that I've seen from students. Some neck straps that I've seen are like super old, they look horribly uncomfortable, and they definitely don't hold onto the horn as well as this one does. I just wanted to throw a cheap option out that's comfy and I think does a decent job, maybe better than the one that you currently have. So there are five options right there that you can think about for upgrading your saxophone setup. You don't have to spend a ton of money on gear and you really shouldn't, especially if you are a beginner. I just wanted to throw out these options and let you know that there are simple upgrades that are super cheap and looking into buying these things are going to benefit you and your playing and overall enjoyment of the horn. If you have any questions at all about brands, about products, about different sorts of upgrades for different saxophones. Be sure to leave those questions into the comments below. And I'm just curious too, if you have a particular brand that you like of a neck strap or a reed case or cork grease or whatever, drop that in the comments below. I would love to hear from you and see what everyone else has found that is cheap and works for them. And if you have found this video helpful, I would greatly appreciate your consideration in subscribing to the channel. Thanks for stopping by y'all and I hope you enjoy making music. Thanks for stopping by, you've made it to the end. Don't forget to subscribe.